Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Foster Media. So like the title says, I think I'm just about done with Gnome. I could start by listing all the reasons as to why. But the straw that broke the camel's back, that has always kind of bothered me about this desktop environment, was the fact that I'm not able to completely disable automatic updates. And with the added bonus that I can't even find these settings in the newest versions without having to do some digging around. And all those, though this has bothered me in the past, I've always been willing to overlook these issues. I uh, do the fact that GNOME just has so many other great features uh, that I rely on quite a bit. But with all these other problems keep popping up with newer versions, it's just really starting to feel like it's not worth it anymore. And I've noticed this uh, since about version 3.30 which for me has been an issue that just seems to be getting worse. And maybe we'll just have a quick, quick look at an example of this. So over here I have Debian 10 Buster and it's running GNOME 3.30.2. And as you can see here, beside automatically check for updates, I have it selected to never. And when there are security updates, to display immediately. So personally as a user, uh, like most other people, I'm assuming, um, I like to decide when my system updates and when it doesn't. So whatever goes on my computer should be my choice and not the GNOME development team. And if I click on this option down here at the bottom, um, when there are security updates, display immediately. You can see the only other two options we have are to download automatically and download and install automatically. So not really a, uh, a whole lot of choice there. But you think by selecting these two options that it would be safe to assume uh, that setting check for updates uh, to never would automatically prevent the system from even checking for them in the first place. But unfortunately, I often get an error message when I try to update the system soon after it's booted, uh, asking if there's another process using APT, which in case you don't know, is just the uh, package manager on Debian-based distributions that downloads, installs, and uh, configures all the packages. And if I do nothing and just sit back and wait, I'll get this stupid uh, notification up here at the top uh, that says that there are important updates waiting to be installed. <laughs> and they're important. Um, so the system is obviously checking for them in the background. But we're just getting started. Because uh, not only is the system checking for these updates, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's also downloading them. And of course, it's doing both of these things with uh, without the user's permission. And if I open up a terminal, maybe you can, uh, maybe you can prove this. So if I run the command sudo, apt, update, hit enter. Yeah, you can see I have 143 packages to be upgraded. So theoretically, if I now run sudo apt upgrade, um, we should get a bunch of GET requests uh, because the first thing the package manager is going to want to do is to, of course, download all those packages. If we don't get those GET requests, uh, that means not only did the system check for these updates, um, it also downloaded them too, and which would be great. So let's try that out. So now let's say sudo apt upgrade and enter. And yeah, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of Firefox there. And yeah, quite a, uh, a good number of updates to install. So I'm just going to select yes, hit enter. And as you can see right here, extracting, preparing, unpacking. I don't see any getting. So it's not getting anything from any of the repositories uh, because it's already downloaded them. And that's my main concern with this uh, desktop environment are these automatic updates. And the thing that concerns me most about it is it almost seems deceitful. Like they're trying to trick the user into uh, letting the development team do whatever they want with their system. And it just doesn't feel Linux-like to me, I guess you could say. And I almost feel like I'm back on a, uh, an older system that I left for uh, GNU slash Linux. But yeah, this really bugs me about this desktop environment. And then when I try the uh, the same version of, of Debian with a different desktop environment, say XFCE, uh, the first thing the package manager does 
is pulls down all the packages. So you see a giant list of get requests um, because it's doing what it's telling the user it's doing. It's finding these packages and then it's asking the user if they want to download and install them. And then when the user says no, it doesn't, it doesn't do it. So then when you do tell the, uh, and then when you do go to download the updates, that's when you get all the get requests. But this is certainly not doing that, which is certainly concerning. But I think this may take a bit. So I guess uh, I'll just pause the video and I'll catch up with you again in a couple minutes. So we'll see you then. Okay, we're almost done with this update. Didn't take too long, maybe a couple minutes. So let it finish up here and then I think I'll uh, jump over to Debian 12 and then try out GNOME 43 and see what that does. And hopefully you get some get requests, but uh, I haven't seen any yet here. Yeah, and there we go. So now maybe if I just scroll up here, you can see just a bunch of, uh, a whole lot of Firefox, but just a bunch of unpacking and uh, setting up, but no downloading. So I'll get rid of this. And then we'll go over to uh, Debian 12, where we can try out GNOME 43. So here too, you can also see how the software and updates uh, application open. Uh, but I'm wondering, do you uh, happen to uh, notice anything different here? As opposed to right here. So right here we have uh, GNOME 30, or sorry, 3.30.2. And then right here we have uh, GNOME 43. So, and in case you didn't see it, it's this updates tab right here. That is just completely missing from this application right here. Uh, normally it should be right here, right between uh, other software and authentication, but it's just being completely removed. So how would you go about uh, disabling automatic updates then? And that is a really good question. Um, I'm thinking one way you could go about it is maybe just to open up the software application uh, and have a look in there. So maybe I'll try that. Oh, sorry, that's the uh, wrong software application here. I'll open that guy up. And that's going to click on this settings icon up here on the top right. And then update preferences. And as you can see, we got a couple toggles here. Uh, but the wording is completely different. Uh, it says automatic updates, download and install software updates in the background when possible, uh, which doesn't sound great. Uh, so I've already toggled that to off. I think both these were on by default. And then the second one is automatic update notification. I also toggled that off because I definitely want, don't want the system to automatically download the updates. So I'm pretty sure, um, pretty much sure that's as good as we can get uh, as far as uh, GNOME 43 goes. So I think what I'll do now is maybe just uh, hop back into the terminal and then we'll do the same as what we did with uh, GNOME 3.30.2 and just see if we're getting those get requests when we go to update it. And then that will verify if, whether the system is downloading the packages ahead of time before not notifying and asking us. So yeah, I'll just close this. Oh, one other thing to note too here too, is if we click on updates, you can see I have 11 of them here. And scroll down. Yeah, we've got LibreOffice, Thunderbird, Map, stuff like that. Um, but one thing I'm concerned about here is notice this big download button, uh, which is telling me that the system is waiting to download these packages. It's found them and it's just waiting for our approval. So if we go into the terminal and we perform the, uh, the pseudo APT update and upgrade, if we don't get any get requests, that means it's already downloaded all these packages. And this download button up here means absolutely squat. Um, so I'm really hoping that when we do do the update, we will get those get requests and I'll look like an idiot and I can continue on using GNOME happily. 
So yeah, I'll close this and then we'll open up a terminal and say sudo abt update. Enter. Oh, 267 packages. That's quite a few. I just installed the system uh, maybe a week ago. So that's yeah, quite a few. Probably all freaking Firefox. But yeah, anyways, I'll just run sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. And almost 700 megabytes. So that's quite a bit. We got LibreOffice in there too. So hopefully when I hit enter or hit yes on this, We'll see those get requests and we'll know we're okay. So let enter. Oh, there we go. We're getting some get requests. So that's certainly nice to see. And those would be the security updates too. Yeah, that's a bit of a relief. I am still a little bit concerned though that we can't uh, turn those off, the automatic updates. That's uh, still concerning, but at least now uh, by seeing these get requests, we know that the system is waiting for us to approve those packages to be downloaded. So, yeah, it's really nice to see. And I think what I'll do is I'll just let that finish up. Uh, maybe pause the video because it's going to be a few minutes. And I'll uh, check back with you then. So, see you in a couple minutes. Okay, update is just about done. And I think I may have proved myself wrong and rendered this video completely pointless. But, well, it's nice to be right or so wrong sometimes. But yeah, I think when uh, this is complete, I'll just have a quick scroll up and make sure everything happened the way it should have. And uh, see if we got all those get requests. I just hit uh, control R to, R to um, pause my video and I will put it in screw up the very end of the update. Control C would have done it for sure, but I'm not sure what control R does. That's uh, just the shortcut for my simple screen recorder. But... No, nope, we're good. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to scroll up and uh, see what we got. Uh, Lee Office, Firefox. Uh, Linux headers. Definitely going to need a restart. I'm starting to wonder if I updated this uh, system after I installed it. Yeah, and there's all our get requests up here. Bookworm, LibreOffice, uh, no software common. Uh, Thunderbird. Uh, yeah, everything looks good. So I'm uh, definitely happy with that. I think I can uh, possibly even continue, maybe even to uh, start using or keep using GNOME. Even though I also love uh, XFC. Um, if I just find with GNOME, I'm so used to all the key bindings and stuff, the uh, workflow and all that. It just, uh, yeah, it's been perfect for me. So what if. Uh, sucked having to uh, go to a different desktop, but yeah, I think that pretty much does it for this video. So I think I'll clear this and exit. Get rid of that. So yeah, please uh, let me know if you guys notice any problems while you're updating your system or uh, let me know if you were able to disable automatic updates. If there's a setting somewhere else that I'm just not finding, that'd be great. Uh, but from what we just saw, everything uh, doesn't look too, or things don't look too bad. So I think I'll definitely know more the next time I go to update and upgrade the system. I'll just double check again for those get requests. And um, yeah, if uh, if that works out, then all this is uh, solved. And like I said, this video was pointless. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. And hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.